Welcome to eCal. Now this video will help you to add events into your eCal calendar. So once you've created a calendar in eCal, you can easily add events. Just go to the calendar's homepage. And next to the calendar that you want to add events into, just click the Manage Events icon next to it. This will bring up the events template. First thing you need to do is click the plus icon to add new event. And that'll bring up the template and the fields of information that you can actually add for this particular event. So we're creating a match uh, or a game type event. So the first thing we need to do is name that event. Let's assume we're LA Galaxy for the minute. So LA Galaxy versus stars, enter the location, the Home Depot Center, Carson, California. Now with the location in eCal, the location is completely integrated with Google Mapping, so really important to enter the correct location so the Google Map will actually find the correct uh, address and location for your fans. Selecting the time zone that you want to create the event in. You create that in Los Angeles time. You can customize the reminder for every event as well. So we want people to know about this event two days prior. Choosing start date, start time and uh, end date and end time. So let's say this game is on 23rd of March at 7.30 p.m. So simple sliders for date and time. And it will end on the 23rd, let's say two hours later. So that's done. Very important to actually match the start and end times with the time zone. So as long as they are correct, the user will receive that uh, this event in their personal calendar in real time, in incorrect time, and eCal will do that for you. Here in the match and game uh, details section, really good to include any broadcast information. So let's say the game is broadcast TV live locally on, let's say, Time Warner cable. Let's say there's a special Ticket promotion. And let's say the match is sponsored by Sprint Mobile. So there's all sorts of information you can include here in game uh, and match details section. Now at the top of the uh, the screen, you'll find tabs to produce further information, including quick links, social media links and you just work from left to right across the tabs. So here we can add in up to six quick links. Now these provide your users with one click access to all the features relevant to that game, whether they be on your website, your partner sites, or wherever. So to add a quick link, click the edit pencil. Let's say we want to add a link to buy tickets. So let's name the link and we'll call it tickets. And now it's just a case of copying and pasting the end URL where you want to send people when they click on this link and we paste that into the box there. We submit and what our system will do is actually create on the fly a short URL. This short URL makes the link nice and neat in your user's personal calendar and it's also trackable so you'll know how many links you get for buy tickets for this particular game for instance. So you can add up to six quick links there. I can add in social links to the social media accounts as well. So let's add in the uh, Facebook address. Let's add in the Twitter tag. And let's, for instance, add in the YouTube address. And now we can click Submit and submit that event. So that event has now been created. 
and you'll see that appear at the top here. Now it will automatically create that event in draft mode. So if I want to make that event uh, public, I just need to click on the power adapter and it will make that event public for viewing on your calendar widget. So let's see how it might appear on the LA Galaxy site. So it will appear something like this. Now remember that eCal is totally dynamic. So uh, if you create any updates in the event or you create any new events into this calendar and submit those, all those details will be automatically and dynamically changed into the personal calendar of your end users, keeping them completely up to date. Now there's also a shortcut to create uh, more events in this calendar. There's a duplicate event button here. So if you want to create a whole series of, of events that are quite similar, simply click, click on the duplicate event button and that'll create a copy of that event and you can just go back and change the relevant details. And it might be the name, the date might change to next week and there might be some other broadcast details as well but you would simply submit that event and that's a whole lot quicker um, way to actually create more events in the eCal system. Don't forget you can also import events from a spreadsheet whether it be a CSV file or an Excel file. So I hope that helps and thanks for using eCal.